in Artemis region. Now to some unprecedented advancements in space exploration. NASA is set to launch three groundbreaking aircrafts on a mission to map the edge of our solar system, an endeavor that promises to expand our understanding of the cosmos like never before. Joining us right now to highlight this amazing feat is Dr. Laura Waldrop. Good morning, young lady. How you doing today? I'm doing very well. Glad to be here. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for coming on today. So let's just jump right into the nitty gritty, Ms. Laura. NASA is launching the three new space crafts, one of which you're working on. What can you tell us about this mission? Absolutely. So the Carruthers Gia Corona Observatory is my mission, one of the three that's launching. And we are so excited. It's named after Dr. George Carruthers. He invented the first ultraviolet camera and we'll be using his technology to investigate Earth's outermost atmospheric region, uh, which is so important to protect uh, both astronauts and humans from uh, the hazards of space weather. Nice. You love to hear it, Ms. Laura. Now, can you tell us more about what exactly the Carruthers mission will be measuring? And you just sort of hinted on why it's important, but can you elaborate a little bit more on why that is? Absolutely. So the mission will take photographs in ultraviolet light. So it's not something that the human eye is sensitive to, uh, but if we could see it, the night sky would never appear dark. It's that bright. Uh, and we need to get far enough away because the region of the atmosphere that glows with this ultraviolet light is truly huge. Uh, it starts a few hundred miles above Earth's surface, but then it extends almost halfway to the moon. So we'll be deploying into deep space, turning around and taking picture after picture and watch how Earth responds to these big solar storms that come off the sun. You know, that's perfectly put, Ms. Laura, because that segues into my next question. The observatory and the other satellites launching on the rise share will be placed in the special orbit, like you said, in space a million miles from Earth. Why was this exact location chosen? Well, you know, uh, for one thing, it's upstream of the Earth towards the sun. So the other two spacecraft will be making measurements of the actual uh, energetic particles. These are really fast moving uh, particles that come off the sun, they'll be able to see them before they hit Earth and provide us here on Earth with advance notice that they're coming. Uh, in our case, we needed to get far enough away to be able to see this entire atmospheric region in one picture. Uh, and the only way to do that is from this orbit. Nice, very nicely put. One more question and I'm gonna get out of your hair, Miss Laura. Is there anything about this space launch that I maybe didn't highlight that you deem our viewers should know about that's important? Well, you know, the thing I'm most uh, uh, impressed with or excited about is the fact that our mission, the Carruthers Gia Corona Observatory, I mentioned it already, is named after Dr. George Carruthers. Uh, he was a three-time University of Illinois alum. This is University of Illinois' first NASA mission. Uh, and he was an African-American inventor and educator uh, that has made such groundbreaking contributions. His telescope was deployed on the lunar surface by Apollo 16 astronauts. It's still there today, and we're just thrilled to be carrying his legacy into the future. Nice, and that makes two of us. Ms. Laura, I wanna thank you so much for taking time out of your day and highlighting this amazing feat that NASA is doing to our viewing audience. Your time is greatly appreciated, and best of luck on your launch later on today. Thanks so much.